Just wanted to show you my setup for keeping Rana Temporaria froglets. This is just a plastic tub with a really nice tight fitting lid, a couple of uh, holes cut on each side there with a ventilation, uh, plastic mesh for ventilation, hot glued on there. Inside the tub, it's really simple. All we've got is a layer of oak leaves, thin layer of oak leaves and some moss. Now there's no soil or anything under there. I've been using this method for the last couple of years because I've been feeding a lot of white worm to the froglets. I find they do very well on that. If you put soil or anything in there, the white worm will just hide. Whereas in the leaf litter or under the moss, the frogs can find the white worm. I'm also feeding fruit flies. As you can see, I've got a tub left open there. Um, I will regularly dust the fruit flies with a calcium and vitamin supplement as well, but that's a tub that's just been left open for them. So they've got a constant supply. Uh, by using these oak leaves, these will stay quite dry, whereas the moss will stay quite damp, and that just gives them a gradient of moisture levels, which suits the frogs quite well. Um, so the white worm will often be hid underneath the moss, and these uh, damp areas, as will uh, the frogs quite often. Um, and other than that, there's just a small water bowl. That's actually a petri dish, just a tiny bit of water in there, and a little bit of moss as well, so they can easily climb out. Uh, they don't really need much water and they can drown quite easily at this stage. Um, they really are quite tiny, fragile things you can you can see there next to my finger. So yeah, they can drown easily. Um, you don't really want any heavy rocks and logs and things like that that might crush them as well. So there's, um, there's just the, the leaves and the moss to hide in, that's all they need for a hide. Um, one thing I'll mention is you can see a couple of them going up the side a little bit there. Uh, they're, they're very good at climbing at this stage they can climb straight up a vertical uh, side of plastic or glass so the, the tight fitting lid is an absolute must um, certain brands aren't very good some of them have a lid which kind of sits above with a little a little gap or or a gap in there check this bit very important but these ones they click closed um, there's no gap there's no gap in there all the way around check all the way around make sure that the frogs can't get up and get over the top of the uh, box and out through there which in a lot of brands they can this brand is wham uh, but there's several suitable ones it's worth mentioning as well i just brought it out into the sun to show you um but i'll leave it in a shady spot so the frogs don't overheat and this is just a few of the frogs that i've bred this year a lot of them are still tadpoles in various stages lots of different color morphs so yeah keep watching the channel for future updates okay thank you for watching